Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing the price action trading system. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down below in the description, and you should also see it pop up in the top corner right now. There is also a link down below to sign up for TradingView. You can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Discord is a free group communication platform where we are having great discussions about all things to do with trading. Lastly, if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates, but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel, you can sign up for our $9 Patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the price action trading system. Before we do though, I wanted to put the indicator scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested 280 indicators and out of those 280 indicators 111 of them have been winners which means that they have met or exceeded the 60 percent win loss ratio threshold that we have set for them the best ones so far were able to achieve a 100 percent win rate now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that but as we are working on building the best trading system possible, you could take any one of those 111 indicators and get out there and start potentially profitably trading the markets with them now. So go back and watch those videos, make a list of those indicators, and get out there and see what you can do with them. But stick with us here as we work on maximizing your trading profits. All right. So as I said, today's indicator is the price action trading system indicator you can see it here on screen there's actually quite a bit visually happening with this indicator you can see that it uh, consists of quite a few different moving averages and really the part that we are looking for is going to be the uh, these arrows that uh, are painted on screen and so you can see that there are these green arrows and then there are red arrows and so uh, what we are going to do is uh, concentrate on these arrows first as the signals and then we might play around with this indicator at uh, on another video depending on how it goes in this one so what I'm going to do is uh, clip the video real quick and take some of this visual stuff out of here and just leave these arrows in place now all right we are back and as you can see now all we have are these green arrows and these red arrows and the setup is pretty simple so basically when we pick up a green arrow we will go long when we pick up a red arrow we will go short like I said, pretty simple setup as far as that goes. Let's see. Replay function setup there. All right. So let's go ahead and get on with the testing and see what we can get out of this. So there's our first 
signal right there and it was able to barely squeeze out take profit but that's all right because it did get us to take profit then we pick up another signal right there that one's going to be a long and pretty immediately it fell down going against us and stopping us out go ahead and continue to play it on here we pick up a long signal right here and once again barely squeezing out take profit but uh, you can't complain about a profitable trade let's see here then we pick up another long right here on this one don't think that one quite made it to take profit nope it did not it was close but not quite there then we pick up another long right there and again pretty much immediately it starts to fall out on us then we pick up a long right or uh, excuse me a short right there that one does work out for us getting us to take profit then over here on this side we pick up a long right there that one gets us to take profit as well and we would have still been in it at the point that this uh, signal right here uh, took place and so we were we're going to ignore that same way over here we would have still been in this trade right here even as these two signals uh, painted on screen so we'll continue on here looks like we pick up a, a short signal right there on that one that one would have been a losing trade as it pulled back really fast and really hard right there on that one continue to play it forward a little bit more and we pick up a long signal right there that one does really well you can see that it spikes up really quick right here and again we would have still been in this trade technically as uh, this second uh, second signal right there took place and so we'll go ahead and ignore that but this one up here we would have probably taken that as a valid entry if we would have just taken um, taken the trade off table actually let's look at it this way looks like we probably would have gotten to take profit on this one and it looks like it spiked up and then pulled back rather quickly and when it did it probably would have stopped us out if we would have been in the trade with another half of a position or if we did just taken it off the table that would have been a win then the second one took place right here that one also would have been a winning trade and then we get this one over here and that one would have stopped us out so let's go back here and look at this one real quick if we rode that out there we would have um uh, assuming we stayed in part of that trade we would have taken at least that one right there but then it pulled back again rather quickly so let's just try to keep a little bit of those in order uh, let's see pick up long right there and squeezes out take profit then we pick up a short over here on that one getting us to take profit we'll go ahead and count that one as well as another trade and that one there and then lastly we'll count that one there that one there looks like it would have stopped us out yep that one would have stopped us out then we would have picked up this one right here which also would have pulled back stopping us out then we would have picked up that one once again stopping us out and we pick up a long over here that one it's a pretty strong pullback but was still within 
the parameters there and then it did start to take off on us and that would have closed us out for the end of the year right there all right let's get these uh these zoomed in here there we go let's go ahead and count these out and see what we get out of it so we get one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So we get 20 trades all together, and we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 winning trades. And so unfortunately, that is not going to meet the 60% criteria. Criteria. And keep in mind that we even gave it the benefit of the doubt by taking a few of these other trades, which we, um, uh, if we had uh, traded the way that we technically would have or how I would have traded it, which would be to set first take profit. Uh, once you hit first take profit, you take half the trade off the table and move the rest to break even and let it ride out for as long as it can. It's very likely we would have lost quite a few of these trades as well. So all in all, it got close but didn't really work out. I'll play around with it uh, a little bit of another way and see if there's something there. And we might do another video on this one, uh, possibly. So, But for now, it's definitely going to go on the no list. And we'll move on to the next indicator from here. If you have not already, like this video, share this video, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime I post a new video. So that way you know what indicators we have tested and are testing. Also there is a link down below to join our Discord server, which is a free group communication platform where we discuss all things trading related. There is also a link down below to TradingView, and if you use that link to TradingView to sign up for an account, you will save a little bit of money. And lastly, there is a link down below to sign up for Patreon. Please sign up for the Patreon and support the channel the best way you can.